The South African defense industry has entered a critical stage in meeting its stated objectives to support our country's forces, protect our national sovereignty, and provide the state with a vital tool of strategy and foreign policy. Many premature obituaries have been written about the local defense industry since the democratic uh, transition in 1994. But to quote Oscar Wilde, after he read a newspaper article on his alleged funeral, I quote, the reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Perhaps on second thoughts, I would rather quote the words of our Minister of Defense and Military Veterans, Minister Nosivuya Mapisa Ngakula, when she recently opened a meeting of the National Defense Industrial Council, which we call ENDIC, in Pretoria and said that we are in a full throttle mode in the implementation of the recommendations of the Defense Review 2015. The health of the local defense industry cannot be separated from our broader national objectives yeah, yeah. as defined in the National right. Development Plan and government's nine-point plan to ignite growth and create jobs. Right now, South Africa might not be confronted with an overt threat of conventional forces threatening our sovereignty, but the ever-changing nature of security challenges demands innovative responses from our own defense family. These responses must be backed by the best available in technology, products, systems, and capabilities. Many centuries ago, the great Chinese military strategist and philosopher, Sun Tzu, wrote an influential document called The Art of War. I'm sure many people know about this. In this work that is still studied by defense strategists today, he wrote, the general who wins the battle makes many calculations before the battle is fought. The general who loses makes a few calculations beforehand. Taking into account Sun Tzu's em emphasis on long-term planning in the defense sector, I want to touch briefly on the role of Denel as a state-owned enterprise and on our group's ability to de develop sovereign security solutions for the country. The Defense Review 2015 defines Denel as a national security asset with the primary mandate to design, develop, manufacture, and sustain such defense material that government prefers to source locally for security or economic reasons, as well as products that are not commercially viable propositions for the private industry. In this mandate, Denel is committed to work in partnership with other defense and commercial manufacturers to encourage and foster the growth of small and medium companies in the defense industry. South Africa's national security is centered on its political and economic independence and its ability to protect the democratic state, the national values, and the freedoms enjoyed by our, our citizens. As a developmental state, the protection of these freedoms is also inextricably linked to our ability to address challenges relating to poverty, unemployment, inequality, and crime. The links between economic growth and prosperity and the safety and security of the citizens are recurring themes in the National Development Plan's Vision 2030. In its chapter on building safer communities, the NDP makes several recommendations on how long-term and sustainable safety can be achieved. It is equally true that the nature of the threats against South Africa and its citizens are constantly evolving. Since the publication of the NDP, we have seen an explosion of interest in and concerns about cybersecurity, cyber crimes, both against the states and governmental agencies, the corporate sectors, and private citizens. Thus, whether you are a major political party in America, no pun intended, the power or a power utility of the Ukraine, a financial institution in Germany, a movie studio in Hollywood, or an aspiring celebrity in Jersey. The risk of becoming a victim of cyber crimes have increased exponentially in recent years. 
The reality is that the events that become publicly known represent just a small percentage of the real damage that is caused to the national security of countries and the intellectual property of companies. It is often difficult to put accurate figures to the threat by the well-known internet security company called McPhee recently uh, calculated that if cybercrime was a nation, like for example, South Africa, it would have been the 27th biggest in terms of GDP. This makes it larger than the size of South Africa or the South African economy, larger than the Philippines or Portugal or Pakistan or Malaysia. Cybercrime cost the global economy some $445 billion a year. And research published by Forbes magazine predicts that this will grow to $2 trillion by 2019. Allow me to refer briefly to the concepts of strategic independence and sovereign capabilities that are often used and sometimes misunderstood within the uh, defense in industry and security environments. The Defense Review 2015 offers a clear definition of the concepts and they are also contained in the comprehensive strategy drafted by the National De uh, Defense Industry Council. If you can, please engage with the defense industry strategy, which was recently published for consultation by the public because it offers a comprehensive overview of the current state of industry and our future trajectory. Strategic independence is defined as the ability of the defense force to perform its key functions for extended periods without reliance on direct foreign support in respect of critical capabilities. Sovereign capability is defined as the ability to ensure under full national control and without reliance on any direct foreign assistance, certain capabilities that are vital to national security. In terms of the Defense Review 2015, the local defense industry, specifically DENEL, is required to possess the ability to integrate and support such systems and equipment, the capability to design and support the relevant algorithms and software, the capability to design, develop, and manufacture certain equipment locally, which does not exclude the use of imported components, and the control of these capabilities by either a public or private South African-owned company. At Denel, we take our responsibility to offer sovereign security solutions to the South African National Defense Force and the safety and security sectors very seriously. In the modern security environment, the pioneering role that we play in these new fields is very bit as important as the dramatic breakthroughs we made with the development, if you will remember, of the Royal Falk, the combat hel helicopter, or the G6 long distance artillery systems. These are iconic examples of Denel's success over the past decades, easily recognizable and symbols of national pride in what can be achieved by local ingenuity, design, engineering, and craftsmanship. <coughs> Through our advanced technology, we provide software applications for command networks, fire control, target uh, designations, and situational awareness. These systems can be linked to the civil security domains where high levels of coordination and collaboration are required, including in times of national disasters. One of our divisions uh, called Denel Sovereign Security Solutions offers solutions for the command control and disaster management, cybersecurity to agencies of the state provinces and municipalities that require critical capabilities in areas such as early warning systems, situational awareness, simulation, training, and data protection. When I say data, I mean all information. 
I will not talk about cyber attacks because the, that is also very important, but I will not talk about it. <laughs> Denial has developed several uh, capabilities and we envisage significant growth in relation to border management agencies, airports, harbors, environmental health agencies to improve South Africa's cap capacity to counter new threats. Our Minister of Defense, Minister Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula, recently used the RAFAC helicopter as an outstanding example of, of what can be achieved. She mentioned that there was an in, initial investment of about 6.25 billion rand in the development and production of the RAFAC and Denel's Mokopa missile. By the end of 2013, exports of RAFAC subsystems and aircraft components manufactured by the broader local industry using the skills learned from the project have generated some 15.4 billion rand in foreign currency. In addition, the local industry has taken on work to the value of about 10.5 billion rand on aircraft and ships purchased for the South African National Defense Force. An initial investment of 6.25 billion brought foreign currency revenue and savings of almost 26 billion rand and established a wide range of skills and capabilities that are now benefiting the broader community. And we want to continue on this trajectory. And this is our contribution to the National Vision 2030. However, this just brings me back to Sun Tzu as I've quoted him before. And mind you, these writings were 2,400 years ago. He says, unhappy is the fate of the one who tries to win his battles and succeed in his attacks without cultivating the spirit of enterprise. For the result is waste of time and general stagnation. I have no doubt that Denel and the rest of South African Defense industry have the vision, the capabilities, and the expertise to help our forces to win their strategic battles and responsibilities, but also to cultivate a spirit of enterprise that will help our country to deliver on the promises of Vision 2030. What I want to leave you with is the assurance that Denel's mandate to provide strategic and sovereign solutions is in safe hands. The growth and development of our people in terms of acquiring cutting edge technologies is a priority. Denel does not develop these skills for Denel's sake only, but for the whole country at large. The national development plan is in the scope of our crosshairs. However, we as a nation are running out of time to bring life into it. Rest assured, Denel is obliged to enhance the skills level of our people to be part of the implementation. If you remember, Professor Mutambara said, execution, execution, execution. The implementation of the Vision 2030. And to provide security assurances for the growth, equitable transfer of the economy, and skills to all the people of South Africa. I thank you. Vision 2030, the National Development Plan. It's our future. Let's go for it, man.